This is Shari from LittleBlueDeerDesign.com and today I'm going to show you how to add a Shop the Look widget below your blog post on your blog homepage. So I've got my blog page here. It's set up with post excerpts and I want to show um, the cute little Shop the Look widget which is from Shop Style Collective below the post excerpt on the home page. So this is a fairly easy thing to do. The first thing that you want to do is go to my tutorial how to add a shop the look widget to your blog. This is a very popular tutorial. You can find it here littlebluedeerdesign.com backslash add shop look widget blog. Um, so I'm going to assume that you've gone ahead and gone through all the steps of this tutorial up to step seven. So we're going to go right back over to the Shop Style Collective dashboard and I'm going to assume that you've set up your widget and now what we want to do is go ahead and copy the embed code here, leave this page open. Now navigate back to your blog dashboard and what we want to do is this post um, and tutorial assumes that you have a widgetized home page. A widgetized home page means that the home page of your blog has widget areas in it. It is not just a full feed of posts. So if you don't have that, you might want to look into um, my blog design services. We do custom blogs and uh, they're very reasonably priced. It's $500 for a uh, WordPress blog design. And all of our home pages are widgetized, so they will show excerpts of your post if this is what you want. And they'll have widget areas where you can actually add things like the shop the look. So you need to have a little bit of knowledge of your site. Um, we're going to go ahead and navigate in the dashboard of your blog. That's the back end to appearance widgets. And this is going to take us to the widgets homepage. Okay? So we're going to scroll down and you need to have some familiarity with your blog. My blogs have um, usually a home top and a home middle section and this is where I put um, the post excerpts. And so once again this is assuming that you have a widgetized blog. If not, definitely hit me up. I would love to design a blog for you and help you so that your blog will be easy and simple to manage. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I've got um, my, I'm using the Genesis Featured Post Combo, which is a really cool uh, plugin that shows your latest posts. Um, and I have my post set up. So I want my Shop the Look widget that I've created in Shop Style Collective to go underneath the blog post excerpt. So all I'm going to do, and since I know my blog, I know that this Featured Post Combo is the contains the blog post that I want the Shop the Look widget to go under. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this all over again here. I'm going to take the custom HTML plugin and I'm going to drag it. This is a default WordPress plugin. You don't need to you don't need to add anything. It's already featured in the widget dashboard. I'm going to drag it underneath my featured post and it's going to look just like this. So all I'm going to do is pop back over to my shop style collective link and I'm going to copy the embed code and then I'm going to go right back to my custom HTML widget and I'm going to press command or control V and that's going to paste the code right into the widget which this code is pretty scary looking but remember it's going to look really super pretty on the front end just like this. So I also probably want to add a title so I'm going to add shop this look you can add whatever you want as the title and then just click save. That is it guys. All you have to do now is pop back over to your blog page and you will see the shop the look widget. Very cute. Um, matching the post that I just did here, the post excerpt. So one last thing that people want to know is what if you don't always want your shop the look widget to go below um, Below your post. You can see I blog about all kinds of different things. Today I just blogged about uh, really cute Christmas cookies that I found. So I would definitely wouldn't want the Shop the Look widget to go um, below that post. So all you have to do 
is just close the widget. And when you don't want to use it, take it and drag it all the way down, all the way down to the very bottom in inactive widgets. And in this area, you can drag the widgets here. They will be removed from the sidebar or widget area, but they will keep their settings. So when you do another fashion post and you want to use the shop the look widget again, just drag it all the way back. And once again, you can actually use um, the shop the look widget in your sidebar if you want. You can put it um, above the header. It just depends on uh, how your blog is designed and how many widget areas that you have. But keep in mind, you can put it in the primary sidebar. Um, you can put it in one of your footer areas. Most WordPress blogs have a before header section that you could add it to. So it's kind of fun. You can fool around and see different areas that you can put it in. Now, the next thing is, of course, you're going to post probably a different outfit a few times a week. You don't always want the same code to show up. Um, you're going to probably go back over to Shop Style Collective and go through all the steps to create a new widget. Um, so you want to get back to the copy embed code page once you've created a new widget. And once again, copy the code. And then we're going to come back here. We're going to delete the old shop style code. And we're just going to add the new code and click Save. And because this is your home page, um, you don't need to worry about deleting the code because most people generally have followed um, this first tutorial that I've done, the how to add a shop the look uh, widget into your blog post itself. So the blog post is going to retain the shop the look widget code. So even though you've deleted it from the home page, you've updated the home page, just like with your blog, um, your main blog page, you don't always have the same posts on the blog page. They're updated chronologically, so it's always going to show your latest posts. And then when readers go into the old full post, they'll still be able to uh, see the shop the look widget if you've pasted the code correctly in the actual blog post itself. So I have tons of tutorials and uh, tips. And once again, if you're confused about the whole widgetized homepage, um, definitely drop me a line, shari at littlebluebeer.com, or leave me a comment. Um, I would love to help you out with a custom blog design, and I'll be glad to troubleshoot any questions as well. So thanks so much for following me.